Hello and welcome to Pillars of Wealth Creation, where we talk about creating financial success with a special focus on business and real estate. I'm your host, Todd Dexheimer. Now, let's get to it. Hey, I just saw a Facebook post and it said that rents are raising uh, again. You know, we had basically no rent increase during the pandemic. I think that was a national statistic. I know uh, for me personally in Minneapolis, we had a pretty sharp rent decline, almost 10% uh, for anything that was renewing or anything that we needed to re-rent. Uh, we're anywhere between uh, flatlined uh, to even we had to drop a couple 15%. Uh, but I had other places. I've got places in Memphis. I've got places, uh, Lexington and so on. Uh, Memphis, we increased rents drastically. Uh, Lexington, we increased rents. And so it's kind of a mixed bag, but the report, the Facebook post, first of all, was saying, this is exciting that rents are going up. The report was by CoStar vice president said that rents, if this keeps up, we're going to see an increase of 9%. Uh, for the foreseeable future in rents. And I don't think that's something to celebrate personally. Uh, rents are not sustainable at such a high level of growth for a long period of time. Now we can have rents going up and we can have a high, high amount of increase if we've got lots of jobs coming in, if we've got jobs that are paying higher. But when we're increasing above inflationary rates in whatever city you're in, this is submarket to submarket, this is neighborhood to neighborhood, this is city to city. Uh, but if you're increasing much higher than inflation, it's not sustainable. And we've had rents increasing over the last decade at high, much higher than inflationary rates. And now if we see this again, much higher than inflationary rates, and again, unless inflation goes up, which we are seeing, uh, but unless inflation goes up, this is not a good thing for anybody. And I think there's a couple things that can happen here. One thing that can very likely happen is, and we're already seeing it, a lot of cities are trying to push through rent control, trying to push through different things that are going to negatively affect landlords. So that's one thing to really watch out for. If we have this nine, ten percent rent increase, the government's gonna start getting involved. And quite frankly, I don't want the government involved in my business more than they already are. So that's something to be cautious about and understand that these high sustainable rents, as much as we want to sometimes celebrate them, can be dangerous. The other thing that happens is what goes up must come down, right? If we have an unbalanced market, if we've got rents going up much higher than inflation, there's that pivot point, that, that point of inflection where you no longer can charge more and the tenants are going to be doubling up. They're going to be moving out, putting pressure on the market, and now rents are going to decrease. And it's great when they go up, but if you're still owning properties and they start going down and you've purchased new properties, that's a bad thing. So what goes up is going to have to come down. If we're not a balanced market, we're going to see the results in the end that are negative upon our bottom line. And that could happen for a long time. And the worst that could happen with that is that we've got rents that go up, skyrocket up, continue to skyrocket up. The government puts all kinds of restrictions on right at that inflection point as rents are starting to come down. And now we've got decreasing rents with government restrictions that, you know, maybe didn't have to happen, but they happened because it came for, went for too long. So I don't think it's necessarily something to celebrate. Now, do I keep my rents at way below market? No, sometimes I do keep them a little bit below market because I feel like the market is going up too high. But at the same time, I think something to be cautious about what we do as landlords, how much we push our tenants. We still have to make sure we have affordable places and that we're not overcharging for what we're giving.